Okay, I've got a correction to make, a slight apology. I mean, I was looking at um, social blades out there thinking that it's suspicious how some channels have, suddenly have 100 subscribers out of the blue on one day. And it's going along fine and then have 100. But even more suspicious, I thought, was losing 100. Next two days, gain 100. But just watching a video and crazy washer boy 2007 um, video from January 2021 explains how social blade works thank you crazy washer boy for putting that out there because uh, he's explaining if you've got over a thousand subscribers it truncates to um, like if you're a low subscription channel like mine I've got 112 on this channel on the Exploratory Minds channel and uh, less than 100 on the other channel subscribe please and you know don't just watch if you're interested if you're not interested don't subscribe I don't want charity subscribers I want people who are actually interested um, regardless like mine if you've got lower things it counts the subscribe subscriptions each day like if I get one today I've had one recently on the on Exploratory Minds channel um, Exploratory Minds project YouTube channel so Social Blade will register that one on that day or maybe a maybe delayed or come up a few days later you got over a thousand it starts truncating like 30 and then you get higher it goes in 40s then 50s it doesn't mean you got suddenly 50 subscribers per that one day it waits till you have and then plugs in the value on that day but it's not necessarily go what's going on on that day but I do see Jason Smith's on a, a social blade where the amount that he loses is back very shortly covered over by an equal amount that he gains and again it's not the same as it on the per day because he's a large subscription because I don't know drama drives views I think you know the only reason why Jason Smith can get traction is because of his bullshittery and his sly way in which he would convince people who didn't know anything about him prior to think oh it's a good youtuber researcher blah blah you know none of that's true of course and it's got people hook line and sinker then for a very short time and then you know, quickly lose them. So you know that might be why he's balancing out a little bit. But I see, you know, this not working out for him long term. He's really become so pathetic now. This idea, this LARP thing, is such utter garbage and bullshit that he himself is owned by his own idea. He doesn't even try hard enough to LARP now at the moment. That's the irony here. And he knows that he's so full of shit now that he can only get, gain traction with people who are dumb enough to buy into his bullshit like Menace to Sobriety because nobody else will have Menace to Sobriety. So Menace to Sobriety has got nowhere to, else to go but <laughs> his fucking pile of shit, bullshit, degrading, waste of space channel. I mean, it works out for him. But in long term, it's not going to, because, like I said before, piles and piles and piles of internet users, particularly on YouTube, come across him, do a video, and show exactly how he's full of shit in the same way as other people show how he's full of shit 
and somebody else and somebody else and somebody else. Loads and loads of people are showing the exact same problem with him. So either uh, hundreds, maybe a one day thousands are all wrong, or Jason's wrong. Think of think that through critically and logically, responsibly. And bear in mind, Jason tries to bring down channels that are gaining lots of respect, lots of traction. This is why he always backs the wrong horse. It's a whole strategy, you know. Um, I mean, he's got two brain cells to rub the together. I don't know what the rest of them are doing, though. I mean, he creates a little bit of a spark, but it, it's such garbage uh, when it runs out. This whole thing is very predictable. Him calling Steve McRae's followers a cult. Highly predictable, because... When you're that lazy in your approach of accusing others, all you're going to do, so lazy there's no insight, all you're going to do is project. And the projection level from Jason is... It's fascinating to me, actually. It really is fascinating. Now, if you want to know anything about Jason, just look at his accu accusations of others and then apply it to him. Because that's how it works with Jason. He's definitely a cult. He's definitely echo echo chamber oriented. He's, he's definitely full of shit. He's definitely the classic cult leader in which the first thing a cult leader will do is tell you everyone's wrong except for him and the cult. Right? So Donald Trump did. Donald Trump's cult leader. Everyone's wrong. All the news media is all fake news. The term really shouldn't have been put around as fake news. Proliferate a lot, you know. Some of us, some of us, including me, a bit of me thought at the time, "Oh, I'm glad that's being put around." But then I thought, actually, it's not wise. The term should be confirmation bias. Because I avoid certain things. But talk about other things that are not necessarily wrong, but they're correct within a context. But, you know, Jason gets everything wrong anyway. But the news media was labelled as fake news by Trump because, not because it was fake news, but because it was correct. But it was politically biased. It wasn't confirmation bias too much, as some of it might have been. But it was biased. Here's the difference. This is what I feel people don't understand with the danger of shitheads like Jason. Is that he's an advocate of confirmation bias to drive his bullshit. Whereas most sane people might be biased on some things as they prefer one thing over another. Bias is it's nothing wrong with that. It's innocent and, you know, even the most amicable person can be a bit biased here and there on something. You don't sit on the fence and pretend to be neutral and say, oh, I'm unbiased. No, that's just doesn't, that's not human nature. Because, you know, how do you go through life with liking everything equally? As well as hating everything equally, <laughs> no, uh, doesn't uh, how it doesn't work. Um, Cheshire Vic has pointed out things like that, uh, being so-called neutral. Um, you can be neutral on some things, but not everything. And while you're pretending to be and playing games in the background because you're really not, because human nature can't be anyway. It's because you've got something to hide. Because you're a control freak, perhaps, and you want to control and manipulate. When people don't come across as overly neutral, when it's demonstrably obvious that one side of something is um, 
very erroneous and another side is amicable and doing the best thing they can and got a mindset of doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do if someone's very neutral over that it's because they got something to hide but it's because they're not trustworthy at all and we saw Nick Sota saw Sutter however you pronounce it doing bullshit like that and that guy is fucking weird really really weird and uh, beyond you know his book the water thief is very hard to read and it's just yeah that was weird as well i just put it in the bin yeah it's one thing that the internet does teach you is the level of oddities that can come from people via dysfunction is infinite. It appears to be. It just goes on. Now, it's easy, I think, for human nature to be creative with creative creatures. And lazy. Because you're, we're always looking the, for the easier way out of things you know making life a bit easier here and there but you know s some of us like a challenge as well just to know that we can get over certain challenges to improve ourselves but people like jason are creative and lazy they're not critical thinking they're not logical they're not analytical they're incredibly primitive actually and it's emotional based. Again, that's what Trump did. Trump always talked in terms of the emotion because he lacked critical thinking. He didn't know fuck all, shit, bullshit, or anything. You know, he didn't know what was bullshit or what was fact. You know, he just didn't know. He was unable, mentally inert when it comes to that. We're brilliant at uh, emotional manipulation with its fans. The rallies make America, America great again. If America is so great, why would you need to make it great again? Because it's not. Because you've got some serious things to address. And you can't address them if you keep going down the path of egotism of America is always great at everything. It's not. You're really good at some things. You're mind-blowingly shit and many things as well but it was the at the rallies oh they all never turn the camera around to see how many people are here why the fuck does it matter how many people are at your rallies what does matter is are you doing your job as a president now i think biden he's nothing amazing but he's doing his job as a president He's being a president, whereas Trump was being some narcissistic piece of shit who wanted a popularity contest. America needs to move well away from that within its politics. When we vote in the UK and across Europe or other places, it tends to be orientated towards voting for a party first then we get to learn who in that party who's the leader of that party and that gets to be our prime minister in in you know it's a prime minister in the case of the uk because if you've got a monarchy it's a prime minister if you haven't it's president so but really, the focus is on the one individual and what they can talk about. Not really in details about the party that he's really part of. But he gave, he gave all this bullshit talk in emotion. There was never any details. There was never any aspects of uh, how they're going to spend money on something and why something else isn't gonna have that money because you know obviously you're gonna have some kind of give and take 
via a budget, right? But no, he used emotional talk. Well, I'm incredibly rich. Well, so? So where are you going to put the money? No, no, it's just all about Trump. Jason's the same. It's all about Jason. It's all about Jason being in control. I mean, he demands. He doesn't ask. He demands that uh, people come and talk to him on his channel. Or he'll go on somebody else's channel. And then people, when people rise to the occasion, he gets scared and runs away like a pussy because he knows that these other people that he's trying to bitch about and bring down are critical thinkers. They are um, logical consistently. You know, within a story arc, a story within itself can be logical to itself but be completely illogical to the greater picture of the real world, right? You're a lazy piece of shit, Jason. You really are. Um, but my apology out there is to, I thought Social Blade worked that way as well. But it doesn't. It truncates. So, you know, if and when I get more than a thousand subscribers, it'll be like, you know, my Social Blade would suddenly show, like, 40 to 50 subscribers suddenly gained in one day or 100 you know it rounds it off so don't make exact accusations if you haven't really done the research and i made that error and that's really why i should come on and say sorry about that because that's how we approached the exploratory minds project with honesty and critical thinking try to move away from confirmation bias and try our best to do our own research if you will if you want to call it that i mean research is a word that's banded around a bit too loosely i think it's hard work actual research looking deeper into things via facts not emotion Playlist is getting bigger, by the way. You know the what I mean. The playlist are, uh, exposes Jason. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Anyone ask me about Jason, I'll just give them a playlist. Oh, go and have a look at that. Then they're going to go, holy shit, what a shit bag. Not doing business with him. Unless they want somebody who is uh, untrustworthy, has no morals. Is a lazy thinker, not critical thinking, uh, instigates drama for views, and so on and on. All the worst attributes. If they want that, then that's proof that they got that what they want. But if they don't, it's proof that Jason's not what they want as well. Jason will bury himself via this bullshit. It's already beginning to start. I mean, the desperation now calling Steve McRae's group a cult is just project projection anyway, of course. How was what was that joke recently? It's the non cult cult. <laughs> so, whatever. Uh, it was quite funny. But yeah, uh, I see a lot of people doing what I did, talking about Social Blade, I, and looking at Social Blade now, I, now I know after that video, oh, how, how could I have been so stupid to miss that? And I put my hand up and say, yeah, yeah, I, that was stupid of me. Jason don't know how to do that, because he ain't got, you know, he just needs to grow a pair, man the fuck up actually think things through instead of being lazy via this fantasy LARP bullshit that only people like M2S Menace to Sobriety now are dumb enough to buy into because it's got that so it's got that out, outlandish 
and negative exponents as well. You're fucking weird as fuck you are. You know, you're just really, really gone. How the hell you people function in everyday society? It must be really, really difficult for you every day. It must be. But you're in denial. This is why you keep trying your bullshit through the internet as well. But we get into how I think about um, social websites sometime. And I really think the whole model of social websites need to change drastically. Not in a direction of restriction, but rewarding the best content in the best ways. Not censorship. Emphasis on censorship needs to alleviate a little bit away. In its place needs to be leaning towards rewarding the best behavior, rewarding the best content, and this will have an effect of training people indirectly to be tools for other people to learn from to raise ships amicably together to really learn and help each other whereas the YouTube model really is appears to be geared for haters like Jason that Dane vote on your video just registers as more interaction in Google's algorithm I think it should be when that mitigates not it. then you probably say oh it's easy even easier then for the trolls to bring you down well you can do it to them as well that way people will think twice before they down vote because you know when they find out you know it's it's there it's a nebulous idea there's a number of other things I want to talk about combined with that and w one day I'll do a video on all that. You know, I might not be quite correct on it all. It might not. My ideas might not work. But you try to evolve an idea rather than allowing an idea to own you, like Jason has. You're a fucking loser, Jason. Get over yourself. Take care, everyone. Hope you have a good day. Cheers. Bye.